Hi, I'm Kunjal Trivedi, Global Lead for Cisco Cloud Solution. I'm here with Chris Gon. He's a Director of Product Strategy at Aprenda. Welcome, Chris. Thanks for having me. So I've been walking the floor over here, and the first question everyone asks is, what is container security? Can you explain that? Yeah, sure. So containers is this big topic. Like, all your developers are using it in your lines of business. You might not even know it at, at this point, but a year down the line, months down the line, they're going to come and say, we need to implement all these uh, applications and containers that we've been building. So during that time, you're going to have to come up with some container strategy. And there's these solutions like Platform as a Service, like Aprenda, that have been implementing containers for quite some time, years. And we built all the enterprise features to make sure that you could do that securely in a global 2000 organization. What does that mean? That means that you know, the actual right containers and the right infrastructure that's um, in that containers is actually going to be implemented. It's not something that, you know, the developer is coming and giving you that won't be supported in a year, some framework or something like that. Uh, the other thing is making sure that the containers actually land on the right infrastructure, making sure that, you know, maybe it's a dev workload and it goes into like some dev test environment that you have that might be in an unsecure um, public cloud or shared environment of some type. But then actually when you go to production, that container has to move to your, you know, your solid infrastructure on premises. Uh, maybe it has some type of networking security that's hardened uh, for per because it has personal identifiers information. So all this has to be baked into the platform to truly automate uh, this container world we're all going to live in one, two years down the line. Okay, so that was a very good explanation. So first and foremost, I heard a couple of things. Uh, containers provide uh, resource isolation and security, and uh, Prenda has been using containers before containers were famous. So, <laughs> so now that really frames up the next question nicely in as much as uh, imagine a financial institute. They obviously have thousands of developers writing thousands of applications. Yep. How a platform as a service environment from Apranda would help that financial institute? Yeah, sure. So at, at Apranda specifically, um, one thing that we do very well is actually take your existing applications and modernize them for the cloud. So you take an app that has, and organizations like big financial institutions have thousands of applications. So taking those applications and putting them on Aprenda, we put them into containers, and they become highly available, scalable, elastic. They become, you know, able to use the cloud. And uh, so that's one, one aspect of actually, you know, taking or moving on this container strategy. The second thing, is actually building all the workflow and automating all the workflow, as I sort of mentioned here, but there's a lot more to it. Maybe, for instance, you need to have a single sign-on or some type of identity federation for all your apps and the platform, and you don't want to use a new system. You want to use the system that you're currently using, probably Active Directory on the Windows side and uh, other tools on the Linux side. So making sure that when the applications go to the platform that they're all being tooled with your uh, your standard software, like a single SSO or the IDM solution, a single APM for monitoring the applications. So that all has to be automated uh, when you're moving to these types of environments. And that, that's what Aprenda and Platform as a Service does. We not only automate, hey, taking your application, <coughs> modernizing it for the cloud so that's scalable, but also taking all the workflow to get that application into production and making sure that developers can push a button and get a production application in a minute. Great, that was great explanation. So you have been working with uh, multiple business units from Cisco, uh, namely the ACI product line, uh, Matterport, as well as uh, some of the open source projects uh, like Mantle. Uh, can you talk about the um, business drivers, for example, actually I, I want to take a sidebar and mention you, you, you talked about less code and we are in a DevNet zone, so having a, a, a code related question but inspiring this next gen coding and actually helping developers is going to go a long way for sure. So coming back to ACI, um, uh, Mantle and a Metapod integration via APIs, can you talk about that? Yeah, sure. So. Cisco did an amazing job of building APIs around all their solutions to make them programmable. So us, as a, as a third-party vendor, can take all those APIs and easily build an integration with a very low-touch 
back and forth with their engineering team. It's, most of the effort can actually be on our side. We have, the, we have the APIs, we have all the documentation, we could build it ourselves. So we were able to do that with ACI, we're currently building the integration. With Metapod, we have an integration that will allow you to spin up new infrastructure when you run out of it and scale the infrastructure um, to, to your needs. And then also with Mantle, so if you have some logs that you want to export, uh, we actually have an integration where we have an Elk stack on sitting on Mantle and we export all the logs from our platform to that that solution so that you could do all the big data analysis. And that was all done in APIs. And with some of them, within a week, the Mantle integration probably took five days. So when you're doing this, we always have to remember, what's the final goal? Like, what are we aiming for when we're implementing containers or doing any of these integrations? I think there's three things it boils down to. One is less code. We want to make sure that your developers don't have to go above and beyond to deliver an application. They don't have to build something special to get scalability, high availability, and elasticity. The other thing is building new businesses with applications. And the third thing is making sure, and we talked about this a lot, that their environment is going to meet your security standards, that they're going to be able to push their applications and all your security is going to be automated uh, within the platform. Okay, that was very informational. Thank you for spending time here, and definitely we'll be hearing more from uh, Brenda. Thank you for watching.